Hello everyone, today in this video we'll be discussing the SAN problems, means the numericals which can be asked in the exam. So there are two types of numericals which can be asked in the exam, that's what I'll be discussing now. And this document uh, can be found uh, in the link in the description box and it was downloaded from the video pulse. Two types of numericals are there in the first type of numerical that is about the rate configurations from the module 2. So uh, two examples are discussed, I'll be discussing that. And after that we have from the module 1 another type of numerical which is regarding the disk performance. Okay, so the few formulas are there which I'll be discussing and that will be uh, sufficient for the numerical part okay so without wasting any more time let's get started before starting make sure the like button subscribe to my channel for more notice like this and uh, let's get started <clears throat> so let's have a look at the uh, first one which is the uh, module one okay so there is something called as little's law which is a fundamental law describing the relationship between the number of requests in a queue and the response time okay you have to remember n is equal to a into r n is nothing but total number of requests in the queuing system okay so listen carefully in the starting part you might not understand but uh, if you watch this video till the end hopefully you will get to know okay so don't miss any part a is nothing but the arrival time okay arrival time the, uh, everything they will give you arrival time also r is nothing but average response time okay arrival time response time multiply you will get the value of n which is total number of requests okay Another law is there which is called as utilization law. In this, uh, u is equal to a into rs. a is nothing but the arrival time. rs is nothing but the service time. Okay, service time. If you multiply both, you will you'll be getting the u, which is utilization. Okay, and from the arrival rate, we can calculate the ra. Ra is another concept. Uh, so that is nothing but one by a. And uh, utilization can be defined as the ratio of service time to the uh, average uh, arrival time, means RS by RA. RS we got here, and RA is here. If we divide these to both, we will be getting U. What is U basically? U is A into RS, okay? And RS is defined by 1 by A. If you write 1 by uh, A in the denominator, A will come in the numerator, it will be again RS into A, okay? So based on what parameters is given, you have to choose the formula. Now the formula is here, let's have a look at the first example. I'll zoom in, in a little bit. Okay, see. Consider a disk I.O. system in which the I.O. request arrives at a, at a rate of 80 I.O.P.S. Okay, request arrives at a rate of 80 I.O.P.S. What does that mean? This is the value of small a, right? So note it down. The disk service time is 6 milliseconds. What is service time? Service time means RS, right? So RS is nothing but 6 milliseconds. And they have asked us to compute four things, which is utilization, which is nothing but U, total response time, average queue size total time spent by the request in a queue okay so some of these things you might not be uh, heard in the previous uh, discussion but uh, anyways we'll be discussing that here the formulas are also here so all the things will be covered okay so arrival time a is given as 80 iops and r is nothing but six what is the value of uh, u they have asked utilization right so u is equal to a into rs a is nothing but 80 and rs is six so you have to convert the 80 uh, uh, input output per second into milliseconds so you'll be dividing by thousand and you'll be getting 0 0.08 and that you'll be multiplying with a this is what this is sorry this is a you'll be multiplying with rs rs is 6 this is also in millisecond right so everything should be in the same order okay like milliseconds 6 into 0 0.08 that will be 0 0.48 okay that was about the utilization next way they have asked the total response time how do you calculate total response time that is given by the formula rs divided by 1 minus u okay rs is 6 1 minus u is u is value calculated here just substitute you will be getting the total response time done Next, they have asked average Q size. That is nothing but U into U divided by 1 minus U. 0.48 into 0.48 divided by 1 minus 0.48, you'll be getting this answer, 0.44. Last one, total time spent by the rest in a Q, by the request in a Q. So total time spent is nothing but U into R. Okay, these formulas like that, only you have to by heart easily. Four questions, they might ask for eight marks. Okay, easily you can score eight marks in two minutes. 0.48 into 11.5. 11.5, where we find out? We find out here, total response time. We'll be getting 5.52 milliseconds. That's your final answer. Okay, that was about the first uh, kind of problem, which is the... Um, disk performance again okay. this is the disk performance problem next we have the rate techniques here the uh, concept you need to understand is there will be uh, when deciding the number of disks required for an application it is important to consider the impact of rate based on iops impact of rate based on iops means input output per second how many rates are happening rate means reduced array in inexpensive disks okay and uh, the, the concept what you need to focus upon is total disk load should be computed by considering the type of rate configuration and ratio of read compared to write see two things can happen either read will happen or write will happen okay 
so total disk load we have to calculate in each case you have to calculate total disk load and the disk load can be uh, for the different types of rate rate 1 rate 5 and rate 6 these three ty uh, types of rate only the questions will be asked okay so uh, we have the write penalties and the read penalties for all of these so if all of these these things are getting confused for you don't worry we'll be uh, discussing each thing one by one separately uh, then the things might be clear for you okay so listen carefully consider an application that generates 5200 iops with 60 percent of them be, uh, being as reads okay so 50 uh, 5200 iops means input output requests are there per second and 60 percent of them are read requests Request can be of two types, either uh, write or read. So, 60% uh, are read. Okay, that's what is given. Calculate the disk load. That's the first question. Two questions are there. The first one is calculate the disk loads in rate 5, rate 1, and rate 6. Okay. Calculate the number of disks required for the application HDD, which is high hard uh, disk drive with a specification maximum of 180 IOPS is used. Okay. So this is the information given. Let's see how to approach this solution. According to the given problem statement, 5,200 IOPS, 60% of them are read. Obviously, if 60% is read, 40% will be right. Among 5,200, 60% means 3120 are reads and 40% means 2080 are writes. We have got how many reads and how many writes are there. Now, the, uh, that's the first thing you have to find out always. Okay, how many read are there, how many write are there. Okay. Next thing they have asked in rate 5, rate 1 and rate 6, what is the disk load? So, uh, in disk load also for rate 5, rate 5 rate 1 and rate 6 you have to calculate read and write both rates okay so here in rate 5 the write penalty is 4 the write penalties you have to keep in mind read penalty will always be 1 let it be rate 1 rate 5 or rate 6 read penalty will be 1 write penalty will differ okay write penalty in rate 1 is 2 write penalty in rate 5 is 4 write penalty in rate 1 is 6 rate 6 is 6 okay so with respect to write in rate 5 the write penalty is 4 Therefore, every one write instruction will result in four write instructions. So, uh, and with respect to read, one read instruction will result in one read uh, operation. Then, so based on that, how many uh, of them were uh, reads? 3120, right? So, 3120 into 1, that is 3120 only. Okay, that many uh, disk load is there. What about write? 2080 write were there, but for every write, you will be having four operations, write operations, right? Because in rate 5, the penalty is 4. So, you will be multiplying this answer. This answer is nothing but how many writes are there? 2080 into 4, you will get 8320. Total is nothing but add these two, you will get the total amount of uh, penalty. Well, 11,400. Now, uh, the second question they have asked number of disks required for the application. 180 IOPS is used. So, if 180 IOPS is used, just divide this number by 180. So, you'll get 64. Same thing follow for the RAID 1 also. Just change the number of penalties and the um, yeah, just change the number of penalties. In 6 also, you'll be doing the same thing. Moving on, the, sec uh, the second type of problem in the second topic. Here, a uh, slight difference is there, but everything is same. Listen carefully. Application has 1000 heavy users at a peak 2. 2000 users at peak 1. Okay. And read write issue is also given to us. We have to calculate the uh, and also overhead of 10% is given to us. Okay. These are the things given. Calculate IOPS requirement for RAID 1, RAID 5, RAID 6. Compute number of drives required uh, in different application environment if 130 IOPS is used. Okay. So, first thing what you need to calculate is how many IOPS are going on. In uh, 1000 heavy users with 2 IOPS, multiply them, we'll get 2000. 2000 typical users with one IOPS, the second line of this question, you will get 2000. 2000, 2000, 4000 IOPS. Overhead is 10%, so add 10% to this one, you will get as 4400 IOPS. How many are read, how many are write? By using the ratio 2 is to 1, you will calculate how many are read, how many are write. This many are read, this many are write. Now, since you have got the read and write, do the same thing what you did in the previous case. Read 1, calculate this answer. HDD divided by 130 because the case they have given here as 130 in this case, right? That's what you'll be doing for the rate 5 and rate 6 as well. Okay, that's all easy 8 marks. Make sure you hit the like button, subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.